Well, the Badger football team hits the field for its first practice of the 2012 season this afternoon. We saw Monte Ball in the hallway in his uniform top, but he was not on the field for the first two periods of practice, which the media was allowed to watch. Ball's story has certainly taken most of the attention surrounding the football team the last week. So in a lot of ways, they're pretty relieved to get on the field and focus more on football. But Brett Bielema says while Ball recovers, there's probably opportunity for others. He's not cleared for participation with us, so uh, he did some stuff in the training room. What we're doing this week is just pretty much laying low. We got a very positive report today from the doctor, which has given him clearance next Monday. To uh, he can do some conditioning this week, but it's you know non-football conditioning. It's uh, biking and all that stuff that he can tolerate. It's really standard stuff for a concussion. And we get our first look at quarterback Danny O'Brien, who is going to be wearing number six at Wisconsin. It's widely assumed O'Brien will be the starter for the opener September 1st against Northern Iowa. But Bielema says quarterback is still an open competition. But on day one, O'Brien sure looks the part. You know what day one? I think he's got a lot of respect. You can see he has ability. Um, he's really a, a kind of a uh, you know he's a totally different personality than Russell, but in a totally different scenario. You got to think now when Russell came in, it was Joel Stave, Joey Brennan, who were just starting as freshmen, and John Budmeyer hurt himself after the first practice, and Russell kind of just walked himself into it. Whereas opposed to Danny, now he's in a legitimate battle with with him and and, and Kurt Phillips and, and uh, Joel Stave. Now, when Wisconsin plays at Nebraska at the end of September, it won't quite look like Wisconsin and Nebraska. Last week, the Cornhuskers unveiled their new uniforms. They'll wear against the Badgers. Today, we get a look at what the Badgers will wear. It's a throwback to the good old days with the Block W of the early 60s prominent on the helmet and the jersey. It'll be the 50th anniversary of the Badgers' 1962 Big Ten football title this fall. So here's what the matchup's going to look like. Wisconsin with a big W on its chest, Nebraska with a big N on theirs. Wisconsin and Nebraska, Nebraska are both Adidas schools, so the company is making this matchup one of its unrivaled series games featuring those unique uniforms. 